Want to grow your email list with actual buyers and not just followers for followers sake? you need a strategic opt-in. In this video, I'm gonna share my top nine favorite opt-in ideas to grow your email list with subscribers that actually are primed to want what you have to offer as a digital product. That way you can sell on autopilot and start earning passive income in your business. If we've never met, I'm Megan, and here on my channel, I help entrepreneurs just like you turn what you know, what you you love and what you do into a digital product that you can sell online to start making passive income. I used to think that in order to grow my email list, I needed to create the most comprehensive, in-depth opt-in out there to get new leads to sign up for my email list. Hit that like button below if you're like I was and struggle to know how much content to put into your opt-in to grow your email list. I would create opt-ins that were 50 plus pages with everything that I know in order to convince somebody that I was an expert. Unfortunately, opt-ins like that are really tough for new subscribers to get through, aka consume your content. When it comes to growing your email list, my students get stuck in this same way with not understanding what to create for their opt-in in order to grow their email list. They get stuck with what to include and how not to show all of their cards in order to connect with the person on the other side of the screen and prove to them that they actually do have what it takes to share what they know and help that other person. What about you? Comment below with what you struggle with most when it comes to creating opt-ins so that I can create more content to help you here. To give you some insight on what to create for your opt-in, let's take a look at nine of my favorite opt-in ideas to help you get some inspiration so that you can grow your email list fast, but with leads that actually want what you have to offer as a digital product that you can sell. The first idea that you can create is a guide or some sort of downloadable ebook where you focus on one hyper specific problem and solution. Let me give you an example. One of my Revenue Ripple course students is an expert in all things wellness. She also can serve postpartum mamas to help with stress, anxiety, and healing. There is so much content that she can cover to help postpartum mamas, but an example of solving a very hyper-specific solution is helping a mom who's struggling with the, I think it's called diast, I can't even say it, diast, DR. Let's call it DR. It's when your abs separate, right? So a very specific guide that you could create is five exercises for that mama to do to help heal your ab separation. Instead of creating a guide that's like five activities that you can create to heal as a postpartum mama, that is not a hyper-specific problem and solution. The problem that I'm talking about that's very specific is ab separation. And she can create a guide that can help you solve that ab separation problem. The more specific that you can get with your problem that the person on the other side of the screen is struggling with, the better conversions you're going to have on your opt-in lead magnet. The second idea that you can create as an opt-in is a step-by-step -step guide about your process. So from start to finish, leading someone from A, where they're starting, to B, which is the trans transformation that you provide in your digital product, what are the steps? You could create a guide that actually leads somebody from step by step by step. But in this guide, the key is that you're not giving away everything that you know. You're just outlining what those steps are. So it helps somebody understand the map that it's going to take from start to finish to solve whatever problem or pain point they have in their life. So in this type of guide, you are breaking down the what, which is the what steps they are going to take, but you're not necessarily showing them all of how to do that. And that's what you teach within your digital product. The third idea that you can create as an opt-in is a checklist. People love checklists. They eat them up. If you have a step-by-step -step action plan that goes with your digital product, that's a perfect 
option for you to pull out of your product and create a checklist. You can also literally create lists as checklist opt-ins. So for example, if you are someone who helps people uh, create meal plans, you could create a grocery list checklist, right? Or say you're a photographer and you want to help other photographers grow their business, you could create a gear checklist for them. A checklist seems like the simplest opt-in, but trust me, people love them and eat them up. If you're thinking something like a guide or a step-by-step -step list or a checklist is the right type of opt-in idea for you, make sure to check out my opt-in templates. They're for Canva. It's called the Digital Product Drop. I use these all the time. These templates are actually to create a digital product, but I use them to create my opt-ins all the time. Check them out. Okay, the fourth idea is to create a recorded class, workshop, or even mini course in the form of a video. Here's the thing, nothing creates that connection, that like, no trust factor that you need to be able to prime for a digital product sale quite like a video. People love to be able to connect, to see your face and to hear your voice in order to decide if they like you as an educator and if they feel like they can trust you to share what you know to help them create or establish that transformation that they are hoping to get to. But I do want to remind you here, opt-ins are not sharing everything you know. They are about sharing a quick win. So if you do something like a mini course, make sure you're not creating hours worth of content here. The goal is to get them quickly through whatever content you create to give them a quick win and connect the dots between what you know as a creator and how you can help them ultimately in a digital product that they would purchase from you. Similar to number four, the fifth idea that you can create is a challenge or a video series. This is very similar to the recorded class, workshop, or mini course idea, but the difference here is that you break up your trainings into many bite-sized and digestible pieces of content that you drip out over a period of time. For example, a five-day challenge or a three-day video series. This type of opt-in content works really well to give your subscriber milestones to look forward to as they continue learning from you. But a word of caution here, don't go overboard. Focus on the what or the steps of what you know and don't give away all of your cards or how to actually accomplish what you know. The newer trend of pop-up podcasts fits into this category as well, but make sure that if you do choose to do a pop-up podcast, say for example, if you don't love video, that's fine. Just make sure that you do have the transcripts available so that everyone can enjoy your content, even if they are hard of hearing or they would like to read what you say on a podcast as well. The six Next idea that you can create is a download or sampling of a digital product that you have or you're looking to create. For example, say if you're wanting to create a photo membership with stock images, a really easy way to create a download is to create a sampling of the stock images that you can provide for this person. The seventh opt-in idea for you is to create a preview template. This is for you if you want to create some sort of digital product that is a template, whether that be a website template or maybe Canva templates or some sort of template that goes with a software like a HoneyBook template or an Asana template, something of that nature, what you can do is create a preview template. So you're creating a pared down, simplified version of what you sell in order for the person on the other side of the screen to see how it works, how your template functions, and to see if they feel confident enough that they can actually take a template of yours and turn it into a problem solving solution that they need. The whole goal here is to let your potential customers explore how your templates work and if they are easy to use. So you want to make sure in your emails that you deliver that you're speaking to that of how to make it work and how easy it can be for them to implement in their life. Another really easy opt-in idea is to create a discount code for your products. Now, this type of opt-in is more geared towards somebody who is really interested in purchasing a digital 
digital product that you have, but they just need a little bit extra incentive to make that decision. So a discount code helps move them towards the purchasing decision. So the goal here of a discount code is not necessarily to rapidly grow your email list, but it absolutely is growing your email list with buyers, right? The whole goal of an email list is not followers for followers sake, but actually growing a list of interested buyers. And by giving a potential discount code, you are definitely trying to grow your list with people who are interested in the digital products that you have to offer. I have found it's a fantastic way to get somebody to that purchase decision while also opting into your email list. And then there's my most favorite opt-in idea, which is to create a quiz. A quiz creates a really memorable experience for your new subscriber. It helps them find out who you are and what you have to offer. And it's also fun to take a quiz as a potential subscriber. It helps you as the creator better get to know your subscriber right off the bat. You can learn about their preferences and maybe where they're at in their life in order to show up in a sequence after the fact to help give them valuable information that is perfectly tailored to who they are, the preferences that they have, or where they are currently at. You can then share about a digital product or you can share different digital products based on results and it's all automated with your email service provider. Once you have your opt-in created and ready to go, you're gonna need to know how to use that opt-in to actually grow your email list. To help you take the next step, make sure you watch the video I have for you here on this screen where I walk through exactly how to get the word out about your new opt-in so that you can grow your email list to your first 1,000 subscribers fast. My plan of action is fast, time-tested, and effective. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how to scale your business for passive income by creating digital products. I love sharing email marketing strategies with you here so that you can grow an email list of buyers and start making an impact with what you have and what you know by selling as digital products to your email list and go on to make the impact that you were born to make. So hit subscribe and I can't wait to continue showing up weekly here on YouTube to help you do just that.